All righty. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. What does that mean? It means that this is congruent to that. This is congruent to that. We also know lots of other things. The um, diagonals bisect each other, which means that this is congruent to that. And then you can put four hashtags if you want to, four marks. I'm not, I'm gonna put X's across them, not X the variable, there we go. So they tell us that AE is equal to 18. So from A to E, this is 18. Let's make it stand out with green. This distance is 18. Stop right there. Let me just say what you already know. The diagonals bisect each other in a parallelogram, so this must be 18. So if they ask for AC, and they do, it's 18 plus 18. I'm going to write that. <laughs> Just in case you look back at your notes later and you're like, man, where did he get 36 from? That's where I got it from. Okay. Um, they also tell us that angle BAD, bad, is 72. So this angle, the bad one, is 72 degrees. And it's that entire thing. We're not worrying about that little segment in there. And so they're also asking for the angle ADC and ADC is, well, let's go ahead and state the obvious. It's not 72. It's not a 72 degree angle, but here's what I do know. Consecutive angles are supplementary, which means they add up to be 180. So whatever this is right here, I'm gonna call it swoosh swoosh, and I'm gonna give it a variable, I'm gonna call it in, call it whatever you want, but we'll say it's in degrees. That 72 degree angle and that in degree angle <clears throat> are supplementary. They make 180 degrees, so we'll just solve that. So N is equal to 180 minus 72. That's going to give me 108. N is equal to 108. So ADC is a 108 degree angle.